Are you a photographer in need of some software? Well, you've come to the right place. Hello everyone, it's Josh here from Stella, back again to help answer your burning technical questions. Today I'll be diving into the huge and confusing world of photography software, picking out the best editing, organizing and recovery software to help you get the most out of your amazing photographs. In the world we live in today, there's a lot of different software out there that you may come across or made to suit different needs. My goal is to ensure that after watching this video, you're fully equipped with all the software you need to achieve your goals. So let's get started. Photo editing software. First, I'll be covering the most important tool for any aspiring photographer, photo editing software. Now, there are literally thousands to choose from, but here are a few standout options. Adobe Photoshop. Let's start off with the giant of photo editing software, Adobe Photoshop. For over 30 years now, yes, 30 years, Photoshop has been at the forefront of video editing software, and it's easy to see why. It's one of the most robust and ever improving photo editing software out there, with every new release bringing in new features, making it smarter and faster. In terms of features, Photoshop allows you to transform your pictures using retouch, recolor, compositing, layering, typography, digital painting, animation, 3D modeling, graphic design, and that's just to name a few. Looking at the pros, Photoshop offers cutting edge features, smart photo correction tools, as well as the ability to change photos into 3D designs. Though nothing is ever perfect, and all these amazing features come at a cost. It is by far one of the most expensive pieces of software on the market, as well as being one of the most complex to use if you're not willing to put in the hours. Adobe Lightroom. Like all Adobe products, Lightroom stands out as an advanced photo editor for professional photographers and designers. It not only helps to work on the fine details, but can also organize your photo library, save your work to the cloud, and let you share directly to social media platforms. In terms of features, Lightroom allows the user to enhance photos using numerous Lightroom presets for filters, effects, retouch, color correction, composition, and layers. Along with the essential photo editing you'd expect, Lightroom is designed to incorporate innovative features, HDR merging, profile calibration, flat field correction, multi-layer composites, and graphical watermarks are just some of its appealing aspects. Much like its Adobe cousins, Lightroom is also an expensive option, with only subscription-based plans in place. Another unique downside is the lack of a printing option direct from the software for Lightroom Cloud. I can't quite get my head around that one. GIMP, short for GNU Image Manipulation Program. GIMP is one of the best free photo editors on the market, with one of the strangest names. Although it may not be as finely tuned as its Adobe rivals, it certainly punches above its weight and generally rivals Adobe despite the free price tag. It comes with a huge array of professional quality functions for fine tuning snaps and creating your own artwork from scratch. The features include layers, highly customizable brushes, filters, and an automatic image enhancement tools. And it also supports a huge number of plugins. With a large and passionate community of contributors, it's in constant development and any bugs are dealt with swiftly. It all adds up to make up a truly remarkable free photo editor that's superior to many commercial programs. The interface can seem a little cluttered, but it is highly customizable, so you're able to tweak it in order to suit your needs. Affinity Photo. Another photo editing software for PC and Mac users that offers creative features is Affinity Photo. At a glance, it offers the look and feel of Photoshop, but just at a lower price point. Whether raw file editing, HDR merging, 360 image editing, panorama stitching, or batch processing, Affinity Photo can do it all. The software also offers all the basic image editing, such as crop, cut, sharpening, color corrections, patch or blemish removal tools, retouch effects, or to enhance your photos. You can create complex compositions using its library of adjustments, effects, and filters. It does, however, lack a sharing option, meaning if you're looking for a piece of software which allow you to share your creations at the click of a button, this may not be the one for you. DxO Photolab 5 
developed by DxO, Photolab 5 offers all the necessary photo editing tools, whilst also being easy to use with many user-friendly features. The software is known for its deep prime technology that uses artificial intelligence to reduce digital noise in photos. It also features DxO Smart Workspace, which helps to manage your workspace by displaying your favorite tools in the project, along with edit history panel and batch file rename options. The software offers around 40 presets, optical correction tools to recover hidden details in photos, exposure balance to add depth, smart brush tools, plus photo repair mode to remove blemishes and unwanted elements. The major pro for Photolab is that, unlike Adobe editing tools, Photolab can be purchased with no subscription plan, just a one-time purchase. Okay, let's have a look at photo organizing and backup. Now you've snapped your photos, you've edited them, but where are you going to store them? Let's dive into a few of the best photo organizing apps out there. Google Photos. Google Photos is one of the most popular photo storage apps around, and with a good reason. It's simple to use, free for all, and compatible with nearly all modern electrical devices. All you need is a Google account to use it. Images can be viewed on any device, whether using the app or the web link to your photos. They're also automatically organized and available for searching based on a number of different filters, including GPS location and even who's in the photo. Thanks to simple folder management, it's easy to share photos and albums with friends and family. You can also order prints and photo books right from the app and get them delivered straight to your door. You are limited, however, with how much space you can use free of charge, with a fee becoming applicable if you want to use an unlimited amount of memory. Adobe Bridge. If you're a typical Adobe subscriber, then this is likely to be the organizer for you. Adobe Bridge works in a very similar way to its editing cousin Lightroom, without the complex editing suite. The navigation layout is very easy on the eye, with the views being split into six different categories. Essentials mode displays the directory, files contained in the selected folder, and a full readout of EXIF data. If you happen to be working with a brand or working on a specific project with multiple photos and other files, then you can synchronize design styles and assets across devices using its creative cloud libraries. For those of you who are used to the Lightroom classic layout, the film strip view may be the simplest way to navigate and organize photos. A useful output tab puts power in the user's hands by offering tools to create contact sheets in a variety of paper size formats. Apple Photos. If you happen to be an Apple product user, then you'll all be too familiar with Apple Photos. This free to use application is Apple's equivalent to Google Photos, offering free cloud storage to all modern Apple devices. Images taken on iPhones and iPads will live in this app, from which you can search for, edit, and share images online, with all images sorted into date order. This makes finding photos and videos quick and painless. Apple has, over the years, done a great job of perfecting Apple Photos, which also scans photos intelligently to showcase images where main subjects are in better focus for enhanced previews. There are also some good basic editing tools which now expand to videos as well. ACDC Photo Studio If you move away from the big three of the software world, then you may come across ACDC Photo Studio. Although it's known for being an editing app, it's also an excellent piece of photo organizing software. This is ideal for those of you who would love a storage app built into an editing software, removing the need for importing files. Users can organize their photos by using keywords, date, using categories via location, color labels, and even EXIF data built right into the files themselves. Photos can be imported into ACDC Photo Studio Pro if you need to, but files already stored on your storage device can also be accessed via the software. Flagship features also include facial recognition and detection, batch renaming, keyword list imports, and customizable keyboard shortcuts to make it easier to find what you're looking for. Photo recovery software. Now that you've edited your photos, you've uploaded them to your preferred storage app, but suddenly you've accidentally deleted everything. What do you do? Well, let me show you a piece of software that will help you out. Yes, it's Stellar Photo Recovery. Stellar Photo Recovery is there to help you recover any accidentally deleted memories. Using a simple, easy to use interface, Stellar Photo Recovery can help restore anything from simple JPEG images all the way up to Ultra HD and 8K video files. This also includes photos that may have become corrupted or otherwise inaccessible. 
supported by the most popular camera brands in the world, it could be used across a number of different devices by following just a few simple steps. All you need to do is to select the drive or disk you wish to recover media from, scan it, preview all the files found, and select which photos you wish to recover. It's as simple as that. Right now, there is a free trial available to everyone to see if our software is for you. The link to which can be found in the description below. It is very daunting to try and find the right software for you. So I hope that I've managed to make your decision a little bit easier. And if you have any further questions, please let us know in the comment section below. But that's it from me today. I've been Josh and I'll see you next time.